Well, it looks like Disney Marvel is ready to wreck another Marvel character with Moon Knight. Now, why do I say such a thing? Well, obviously, it's Disney. But secondly, because the director himself, Muhammad Diab, promises that the show will be hard, serious, and about big topics. Now, Mohammed Diab, when you look up his IMDb, is another one of these low-level creators. And why do I say that? Well, because this is his fourth credit as a director. So, until he got this project, he only had three credits as a director. And this is a consistent theme with Phase 4 Marvel. Them recruiting people with little to no experience and little to no talent because obviously they could give two shits about these movies and shows that they're putting out they believe they can just slap brand marvel onto something and it will sell and, and sadly <laughs> they're right for the most part because you do have a bunch of mindless uh, Marvel fanboys and hate watchers who just pay money for this bullshit. I mean, evidence from that is based on Shang-Chi apparently doing well in the box office, which based on Simi Liu's statements and all of the recent nonsense that's been coming out of Kevin Feige's mouth and uh, the reveal that your money goes to people like Gavin Newsom, People who claim to be serious about wanting to combat the mainstream are still giving money to these people. And so when Mohammed Diab makes this comment about this being about big topics, which will clearly insert woke bullshit, they can get away with it because the Marvel fanboys and the Marvel hate watchers will just keep coming. Now, Moon Knight is a character that comes from the 70s. It's a Marvel horror type character. And he debuted as a villain. So I'm curious, will they play him as a villain or as a hero? But in, you know, current day Disney, they make their villains the good guys. Or at least they try to, they try to portray their protagonists as good but they just come off as villains and you only need to look at um wandavision and uh, captain marvel as uh, clear-cut examples of that and plus all of disney's recent uh, reimaginings and live action adaptations where they take uh cruella and they're looking to take the uh, stepsisters and make them into sympathetic characters so even if this character is portrayed as a protagonist, it will probably just be another villain. But then again, this is a male character. And by the way, Oscar Isaac is playing this character, so I guess they didn't race swap him. That's a good thing. <laughs> but when you listen to this director, you know it's going to be a typical Marvel trash. I mean, he says that they'll attempt to be entertaining, funny, and action-packed. and Because that's what we need. We need more Marvel comedy. But let me read some of what this director said in his recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter. And he spoke with them stating, quote, Definitely, when you see this, you will not recognize that it's me directing it. Yeah, because you haven't directed much. But I'm proud, but I'm so proud of it. I always love to have a new challenge. My movies are hard, serious, and about big topics. And I feel strongly that Moon Knight is going to be like that. It's going to be entertainment, but also heavy. At the same time, we're being so creative with the jokes. Oh boy. And with the action, as I keep saying to my wife, 
I can't believe I'm funny in another language, end quote. Sure, sure, sure. Now, uh, Mohammed Diab, if you haven't noticed by the name, he's an Egyptian director. And this is only his fourth project as a director. You know, he has a little bit more credits as a writer. He has 14. But as a director, he only has three. But, you know, again, this is what they're doing. They're, they're handing projects to people who aren't qualified. And now he, he claimed he made some sort of a great pitch, which I'm sure it was just woke, 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 woke. And Kevin Feige and whoever else was involved was like, okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's sad because you have stars getting wasted because this, this series for Disney Plus stars Oscar Isaac, who will be playing the title character in Moon Knight, and Ethan Hawke, who's a fantastic actor, will also be on board. You know, but sadly, they're more than likely to be wasted because the previous uh, Disney Marvel shows have just been full of nonsense. You know, Loki with, you know, the loop nut shots and the cucking of Loki through Lady Loki and, and then them trying to make you sympathize with Wanda who held an entire town uh, prisoner and starved children. And what else? You had Falcon and the Winter Soldier where you literally had a do better speech. Like they took from Twitter and gave it to black Captain America, who was just fine as his own character as Falcon. But of course they have to make him black Captain America. And he gave a do better speech. And then you have the what if shit, you know, what if this person was female? What if this person was another race? That's basically what that has amounted to. And, and then with Ironheart, Riri Williams, which never succeeded, but yet they're moving forward to that, forward with that. And and this in tow, like, there's no reason to have confidence in this shit. You know, and judging by the look of the character, the character looks pretty badass. So I, I would like this character in a different time. But, you know, unfortunately, we're in the time where Disney owns it and is set to ruin it with another low-tier creator involved. 